Larry Kasdan uh, called my agent and said, I would like to talk to Dick Crenna about playing this role in Body Heat. How that came about, I don't know. He'd seen me do something, I guess, that had called to mind the character that he might find useful in his film and uh, sent me the script. And I read the script. This is the honest to God truth. I read it and I said, this is trash. I mean, it's, it's a dirty picture. This is really a dirty picture. And my wife said, I don't think it's so dirty. And I said, well, it is. And look, look what happens here. And I'm naked in bed, and this guy comes, and he does that. And, that. and she said, oh, great. And he said, well, would you have a meeting with Larry Kazan? I said, well, I have a meeting with anybody that wants to hire me because I think that's the least I owe them is, is the courtesy of sitting down and talking to them and, and, you know, and be appreciative of the fact that they wanted to use me. So I sat down and we met at a, at a restaurant and in about 15 seconds, I changed my mind about the, the nature of the film and the, and the direction the film was gonna take. The tastefulness in his presentation of the material was so obvious to me that I had no worries. This was not gonna be a trashy film. And yet I think it's probably one of the sexiest films ever shot. I mean, there, are a couple of, there was a couple of, ludes, uh, of love scenes in there with Bill Hurt when he breaks through the door and, and Kathleen Turner that's about as sexy a love scene as I've ever seen, and and that you don't see open mouth kissing and and buttocks, uh, uh, you know, rising and falling and all that crap that you watch now, and so I was really thrilled to be in that film, really thrilled because it was, and it was done in a very very interesting way because uh, Larry having written it, as he was directing it, he had already edited the film in his mind, so I'm used to going in and doing the master scene where we play an entire scene, then they. Director says, well, we're gonna do coverage, we'll do a close-up here, and we'll do a two-shot here, and we'll do a close-up there. We do a scene, and we start the scene, and Larry say, cut. Well, aren't you gonna finish the scene? No, no, no. I don't wanna be in this shot for the rest of the scene. Okay, I mean, this was like the first day. So then I'd get into the bed, and I'd get out of bed, he'd say, cut. And he was so um, judicious in his, in his uh, shooting of the picture that it really, you know, it, w it stunned me because it was a way that I'd never seen an a, a director work before. And he, but he knew every moment of what he was going to use on the screen. There was no wasted effort in shooting a master shot with a waiter walking by and they say, wait a minute, let's do it again. The waiter blocked him. You know, it didn't matter to him because he knew that was not going to be in the picture. Uh, and the scene that I had with, uh, with Bill Hurt in the restaurant, we shot it and we rehearsed it once. And he shot, and he moved the camera back and forth like this. And I figured, oh, he's going to do coverage. And I said, that's it. Hmm. And I thought, oh, my God. And it was on screen exactly what he wanted and terribly effective. And you felt very comfortable in his hands because you knew when he said print it that you had done what he wanted. 